This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Run this program, watch the code run, and carefully read each individual part. Discuss three these questions with your partner and be prepared to share your answers. What does join do? Why is it necessary in this app? So let's hit run. Mine's going super fast, but that's fine. All right. Uh, new person, Bob, add. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. How about Mr. Kaiser? Add. And no students, you can't remove me. <laughs> remove you. Uh, uh oh. Someone broke it. You broke it. It wasn't me. Okay. Um, oh, assigned a random. Interesting. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, update screen. So, this is going to people label, which is, yep, that text people.join slash in. People list join in. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we'll see that again. Set property options people list. Okay. Options. Oh, so that's people drop down options people list. So, that's pushing the people list to be displayed here. Got it. People label text. Oh, people list join in. So what that's doing is it's smacking a new line, a line break in between each item of the list as we're slapping it up. Okay. Options, property drop down, write a short description. Well, what that line of code does, like we were saying, is it is grabbing yeah, line seven. Uh, it's grabbing options. Uh, it's setting up the people drop down menu options with the people list. So, and this is the list of people. Line 18 through 19, the, the code refers to index property of a drop down. Go look at what the property does in design mode, then describe these lines of code. Work together to remove a user from the list of partners. Okay, so here's the design mode. Here's our people drop down. Index is negative one right now because there's no one on the list. And then what's it saying? Oh, how do they work together to remove a person? Well, let's see. Well, it's still having issues. Person drop down menu. Well, that would be the problem. We need people drop down. There we are. Okay, that should do it. And boom, it lets us remove. Cool. Now, why does this condition read people dot list is greater than dot length is greater than or equal to two? What would break if it read people dot people list dot length is greater than or equal to one? Line twenty four. What would break is if you don't have two people, you can't assign partners. So it would no longer work. So what this does, if I said greater than or equal to one, right? Length counts how many items are in the list. Your list is indexed at zero. So if you have three things in a list, the first thing is at spot zero, the next thing's at spot one, and the next thing's at spot three. I mean, blah, 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 spot two. So spot zero, spot one, spot two, right? That is three items in a list though. So if I ask for the length of the list, it says, well, there's three things, three. However, if I say, okay, Go to spot three, it will say error, problem, nothing's in spot three because it's in spot zero, one, and two. So if I ask for my list to be greater than or equal to one, well, that's going to break my list. That would be a length of one, right? That doesn't mean zero and one. That's not two things. That's just one thing. And we couldn't make a pair. What's this going to do? Uh, what would you happen if you switched the order of 26 and 27? You would remove a person. So if we switch these, this would be removing this index, this person from the list before we even pushed it out to this variable. So that could cause an error if you only have a couple people on the list or it will cause the wrong person to pop up. All right. Change the default names that are available when this app starts running. Okay. The default names. I'm going to change them to, shockingly, Mr. Kaiser. Uh... Dude, <laughs> that's so funny. And uh, Sarah, cool. Those are the default names now. Update the app to pick groups of three rather than groups of two. Ooh, all right, all right. Groups of three. 
So I'm going to first go down here and take a look. We want to make sure that we have three people available. So we need the length to be greater than three. We then need random index one, random index two, and random index three. So I'm going to go into text mode because it's going to be pretty similar to this. So I'm going to highlight all of that code and do right click copy. I'm going to hit enter twice and do right click paste. Okay, let me go back into block mode. I think it might be easier to see. And now I need random index three. And that's fine because we don't have to change all of this because even if we change the list length, it's automatically finding it with the code. So that's fine. Uh, when we remove people I was talking about. All right, so this is all going to be three, three, three. Great. And now we have a third person. Uh, random person, random index. Where else should I be using this? Ah, here. I'm going to change this from and to a comma. And I'm going to put an and here. Space and space. You got to put a space near beside it so it works. Well, so it reads right. And then this was random person three. It's kind of hard to see all of that here. I'm going to get rid of some of my I needed stuff so we can see a bit more. Now you can see it all. <laughs> all right, so I just put random person three way back here. Okay. So now let's see here. I don't think this will work yet, especially with removal, but let's hit run. Mr. Kaiser. Okay, wait. Assign a random pair. Boom. Three people. Yeah. Now, you also want to set up, though, the remove button, if you want to get proper, to make sure remove person button click. And then if, oh, no, we can remove people. It's just not going to let you assign a group. Cool. All right. So we uh, got it. They tried to trick us. The real thing you want to know, the important thing is this random index, right? And then once you have that random index, you want to create another variable to hold it. You then remove the item from the list so no one's chosen twice. And you want to add it to the end of this huge thing. Can you tell me that's an error? Hey, you can kind of see it all. This should be right next to set property. I just hit enter. So yeah. Cool. I'm excited to see what type of app we're going to be building with all of our new knowledge. Woohoo. All right. Let's uh, keep going.